Ah, <sighs> fishing on the weekends is great. I'm Keisuke Niwa, a 25-year-old office worker. I've never had a girlfriend in my entire life. I looked at the beach, which is a bit far away from the breakwater. It's a swimming area, so it's filled with people. Maybe I should go have a dip in the sea after I'm done fishing. What's with the fuss? Ah! Hey! Look at that! I turned toward the screams. There's a girl drowning! Damn! No one's gonna help her? I dived into the water before I knew it. I swam toward the girl at full speed. Are you okay? Thank you. You're safe. Don't worry. I managed to take her back to the beach. And then, we were surrounded by a lot of people. Is she alright? Man, you're great! What should we do? Did anyone here call an ambulance? As I said that, some in the crowd started dialing. So no one did. Everyone must have been in a panic. I hope it won't take long. Oh! I took a glance at the girl. She looks paler. Her body is still. She's not breathing! Can you give her CPR and mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation? I don't know how to. I don't think I can do that. I talked to her friend, but that's what I got. No one said they would do that. Sorry, you can beat me up later. I gave her CPR and mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation in turns. And then... She threw up water and cuffed a lot. Thank God! She came back to life. I'm glad that I took a life-saving course. An ambulance showed up soon and took the girl to the hospital. And then... Thank you so much! I couldn't do anything! She wouldn't have made it without you! The girl's friend thanked me with teary eyes and bowed many times. Don't worry, I'm glad she's fine. Uh... I left my cooler and rod on the breakwater! Oh! I need to go get them. I gotta go! Oh, hey! Wait! I never knew I was that good at lying. She was so desperate that I was feeling uncomfortable. I ran back toward the breakwater, leaving the girl talking to me. I got back to fishing and had such a good day that I forgot I saved a girl on the day. Yeah! On Friday, several weeks later, I came to a pub with Akira Akasaka, my co-worker after work. I'm off tomorrow, thinking that makes the cocktail taste better. I stuffed my mouth with deep fried chicken, chugging grape cocktail which is my favorite. Akasaka was enjoying his draft beer and octopus with wasabi. 30 minutes after we started drinking, he didn't take his eyes off of the TV anymore. Seems that his favorite TV show started. Hey, Niwa, isn't she really cute? She's my current favorite. Well, I'm not into pop idols, but yeah, she's pretty. I know. Oh, her name is Setsuna Yui. I'd risk my balls to date her. You need hundreds of pairs. Sit down. You should find a way to enjoy your life without her. Don't worry, I'll help you out. I just told you my dream. Dream. It's such a wonderful life where you devote yourself to your dream. Even if it doesn't come true. Man, you're wasted. Let me catch up with you. As the pop idol finished performing, the host started interviewing her. I believe this is the question that all of your fans want me to ask you. Are you in love? <sighs> Not until several weeks ago. A man saved my life. I haven't been able to get him out of my thoughts since then. I love him. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Oh no, she's in love. It's killing me. Maybe it's me. I saved her and forgot it. It's possible, right? Life isn't that simple. Who's the guy? I don't even know his name. You don't? He left without identifying himself. I was feeling dizzy at that time. I asked my friend about the man. She told me he left without telling her his name. It's not about his appearance, but what he did was so cool. He saved my life, wanting nothing in return. It made me really happy. I really want to see him. Oh, 
Such a pushover. I enjoyed my drink, looking at Akasaka in despair. Her story sounded familiar for some reason. Well, it doesn't matter to me. Such a background character. After I parted ways with Akasaka, I returned to the building I live in. I took a glance at the parking lot. There was an unfamiliar, seemingly expensive car. That's cool. What are they doing there? Oh, there's someone in front of my apartment. I strained my eyes. It's a girl. She's at the door. I have no female friends who would visit me. Some sort of saleswoman? She should give up when I'm not home. Hey, may I help you? Oh! <clears throat> Keisuke-san, right? Y yeah Finally! As she said that, she embraced me. What the... What's going on? It doesn't seem that she'll stop crying. One minute after she embraced me, I came back to myself and realized I had a situation. I bet I look like I'm making her cry. I have no choice. Come in. I don't want us to draw attention. Yeah. I showed her to the living room and had her sit in the chair. In several minutes, she finally calmed down. Huh. <sighs> okay. Let's pick up where we left off. I'm Keisuke. I'm Setsuna Yui. I heard that name watching that TV show. What a coincidence. What were you doing at the door? I wanted to see you so much that I found out your whereabouts. I knew I'd cause you trouble, but I couldn't hold myself back. She's gotta be a total whack job. Anyway, I'll ask her some questions. Did I meet you before? Just one time. Where? You saved me when I was drowning in the sea. You don't remember? Uh... Now I do. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you so much for saving me. I feel like I'm a superhero. She doesn't have to think like this. keisuke san Yeah? Oh. I love you. I know this is sudden, but will you marry me? What? Hold on. Why? Look at me. I'm an old man. You're not an old man. You're such a handsome man. Is this? Oh, a marriage certificate. We need to turn this in to make it official. Oh, but marriage isn't temporary. I saved you, yeah. But it can't be a good reason for you to marry me. Don't worry. I've given it a lot of thought. I know you're the one! She looks earnest and pleading. Actually, she is freaking me out. She's deaf. What should I do? I opened my mouth very carefully. Sitsuna-san, we can't get married. Oh, no! We don't know each other at all. Favorite food, favorite spots, and likes. We should know each other well first. You mean... I can't marry you before I know you well. So, why don't we start off as friends? Yes, sure! You won't regret this! Oh! You'll definitely want to marry me! You'd better get ready! She'll realize it's not the best choice soon. She left with a big smile after exchanging phone numbers with me. She started visiting my workplace to hand me her homemade lunchbox and calling me every night. On the weekend, an envelope from her arrived at my place. The contents were two tickets for a concert and a letter. These are for my concert. Don't miss it. Ah, uh, I told her that my friend is such a fan of hers. She's so sweet. Setsuna-san! I asked Akasaka out for the concert. He said he wouldn't miss it for his job. He took a day off before the concert. I made sure if he was aware that he would never perform on stage. Uh, you don't get it. He was disappointed in me for some reason. On the day of the concert, I went to the stadium with Akasaka, who was really worked up. As I handed our tickets to the receptionist, the staff crews got into an uproar and took us to VIP seats. This way, watch your step. Oh, thanks. 
What's going on? <laughs> How did you do this? Only people with connections could have gotten premier tickets. Are you the son of an executive or something? No. I didn't know those were premier tickets. Ah! Setsuna! You are beautiful as usual! Guys, thanks! Woo! We enjoyed her performance. Several weeks later, I came to know that the building that my apartment was in would be torn down because the landlord would move in with his son, so she couldn't take care of the building anymore. My paycheck is low. I can't afford my move. When I'm growling with my head and my hands at my place... Oh! My cell phone rang. Yeah. Are you okay? You don't sound fine. It's Setsuna-san. Don't worry, but I'm not in the mood for talking. Can I just... Oh, tell me. Otherwise, I'll give you a lot of calls until the morning. Oh. <sighs> it's not an interesting story. I explained her the circumstances. Uh, okay. I'm sorry for you. Yeah. I need to find an apartment. But it is slim pickings. It's not the best season. Hmm. Leave it to me. I know a good one. Thanks, but I'm fine. I feel like I'm using you. This is for me. Let me repay you. Hmm. Or... I'll confine you at my place for the rest of your life. Which is better for you? <laughs> <laughs> She's joking with me so that I'll find it easy to accept her offer. She's so sweet. Then... Can I? I promise. I'll pay you back. Sure. The next day, Setsuna-san took me to the apartment she mentioned. I signed a contract right away because I like that pretty much. It's such a spacious apartment, and the rent is really low. I'm not sure if I deserve this. So, I'll work hard to pay her back someday. Setsuna-san helped me out on the day of my move. Thanks a lot! I couldn't have lived here if it weren't for you. Don't worry. I'm glad I came in handy. When we were done with my move, it was dark out. Why don't we eat out for dinner? Sounds great! I'll get changed. I'll walk you home. It's close by. Don't worry. Wait! Let me! I'm worried. <sighs> Give me a minute. Oh! <laughs> huh? Oh! Didn't I tell you that this is my apartment? <laughs> oh! My head blanked out as I saw her go into the apartment next to mine. <laughs> Would you like me to wash your body tonight? Oh, um, I won't have a bath tonight. Then tomorrow. It's a promise. We technically moved in together, kind of like a couple. What happens next? 